What's going on, everybody? Check out this clip from the Pre-Patch Podcast. Uh, okay, this started because I... Are you actually playing this, or is it just to fill a void? That's my question. No, I mean, so I'm actually really enjoying it. So now this is kind okay. of giving some backstory to it, right? So, you know, went back in, got got kind of burnt on on um, Siege. Uh, wait, wait, my, what again, are you playing, by the way? Hunt just Showdown. To... Uh, there we go. Hunt, hunt Showdown. Um, <laughs> but got burnt playing Siege um, on my own accord. Nothing against the game. It's just my own issues. Uh, tried going into Overwatch, played that for a little bit. The, the, to the, the toxicity, the fucking just the, the way Overwatch is, I, I couldn't stick with it. Um, you know, went to, I you was know like, it's bad when the Blizzard <laughs> shell doesn't want to stick with it. Like, I, I literally was just like, cool. So then I tried Halo. It didn't, it wasn't like nothing was like sticking. Um, and was Halo a good time? Like, yeah, small side tangent because I've heard that the game's actually it's like good. pretty decent. There's these nothing, days. yeah, there's nothing wrong well, I, with I keep, Halo. I always hear like big praise, like when it gets its updates, but then it like dwindles very fast. I feel like, no. yeah, you, like, you never, you never hear not, people that are like playing it constantly. Well, at least not, that I've seen. It's never gonna be. Is it gonna be the 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 Fortnite or the Call of Duty? No. Right, maybe when the new one comes out, if the if it does everything perfect, right? I think Halo Infinite had its own controversies that just really stunted that game. Um, you know, and the multiplayer again was not good. Um, but I would equate it to something like this, like Hunt, right? Like uh, Showdown, like it's it's good, right? Halo had fun with it; it's a blast to play. Um, you know, there's it's there's got its niche community. Yeah, now. it's got a community, and it's and there's nothing wrong with it. It's right? always like, had it's always had a niche community. Yeah, like I, I recommend it highly. But so anyway, so all of that got I was hunting, no pun intended, for something that I could just fill by the shooter like need. Like I just needed to find something that I could play, and so I I was searching online, searching online, and and Hunt Showdown kept coming up, and it kept coming up. Now I had I had played Hunt Showdown way early on, like early state. Well, that was. <laughs> To sneeze. You about, you about played it when Three it first came out. I feel like, like, in, in like two, um, yeah, when it first nope, released. Where's the third one? Nope, I just got two. Uh, oh, this is so, two. Okay. Yeah, so uh, when it first came out, yeah. So when this first came out, early, uh, you know, alpha, um, early access, it just drops back in like 2018. Um, I had played it, and it was it was pretty bare bones. Like I'm not gonna sit here and say that like the game had a lot going for it back then. Like it it was still pretty rough, yeah. and um, you know, was kind of dull. Uh, now they have added all like a lot of stuff. So I was like, cool. you know, what? I, I keep seeing, I keep seeing, I keep seeing it. I'm going to go back and give it a try. So I jumped back in and, um, man, dude, like, yeah, they, there's something about it. Like it hasn't changed a whole, whole lot as far as like what you do in this game. It is a extract, like extraction with, with, uh, quotations because you have, you have to go in and you basically are hunting down uh these bounties and there are these monsters right you're in a, you're in a western uh world or western you know you know times so you're using or brothers grim style yeah yeah, like, yeah you're definitely. using very old school like you're not rolling around with an mp5 or any kind of futuristic gun like you're using like winchesters and and six shooters and again an a, a, a genre that we don't see a lot of um and uh you know you're going in and you basically have to go like and find period. these find these clues to unlock this boss on the map that kind of keeps the location you kind of have an idea but it keeps moving and then you go in you kill them you get a bounty and then you uh get out and that's it like that's the extraction part of it um you are playing with 12 other people on the map so it's not a whole lot of people um and you know the loot in the game is you know it, it, you're not getting any experience or any points really for like killing zombies or killing any of the things that you're seeing on the screen the the point of that is really because of the sound design. Like you don't want to alert other players because the sound in this game is one of the am most amazing sounds I've ever soundscapes I've ever seen I've heard in a game. Like Crytek did a phenomenal job with the sound. Um, it just man, like you can pinpoint where people are at really well. So they can... they go down to like the the birds like chirping yeah. off in the distance, like rustling bird like, yeah. patches, like, like little yeah. like bushes cracking a, a twig. Like you can hear yeah. it. Um, you know, it, it really is, uh, a lot of fun and it's really strategic and like, you're, you know, you know, you have to kind of make these decisions and choices and like the gunplay because you're not, you know, you don't have all of these crazy scopes and all this other kind of stuff. Like it's very tactical. It feels impactful. They do have some cool, like other things, like they have like these blood, uh, mosquito like things that almost act like a drone where you can fly them out and then like 
you know, they'll glow red if someone's around and then, then you can explode them. And like, they, they, they have some, some fantasy element stuff to it. Um, but like the game just, it feels good. It plays good. You're, it's either a team of two or a team of three. Um, and they've added a progression system. That's really nice with like the, obviously they have a battle pass, but what stands this game out, right. Is the fact that you're in most extraction games, it's all about like your, your loot or, uh, and getting out with, with the, the gear, right. That doesn't really matter here because you can buy every, pretty much like you, you continue to level your, your person up and level your account up to where you can pretty much buy whatever you want, right. When you get out with in game currency and you, and like, you get like, I started with like $15,000 worth of in-game currency and a gun is like a hundred bucks. So you have plenty of, of, and you earn currency pretty quickly. Um, the thing about this is the character, your character is what is your, your, your yeah. extracting with because your that's, character... that's what I remember when it first released was yeah. it, it was, it was all about the kid. Cause I, I seem to remember there was a controversy when it first started that you, you they, you like, you could buy characters or something along those lines. Yeah. So you I don't can. know if that's you, still you, a so thing. You still can, but before the characters had traits attached to the things yeah. that you would buy. This one, you, you, when you buy the DLC or you buy characters, they will have a randomized trait that any of the other ones can still have. It doesn't matter. It's not like you're, you're purchasing a, a, a win and, you know, or, or purchasing is, a better perk or anything. Is that randomized on, on every character, every like character. whenever you use it? Every or, character. or is it just like every, so, so you continuously have to buy another character to get a better or is no, it just randomized no. like, like, you like let's say you buy the dlc like you buy the, the ten dollar dlc you're essentially what you're buying is the skin right like you're you're buying the skin yeah. that you like and then the traits it doesn't matter whether you buy that dlc or not those traits are 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 in every are in the pool right and and you get to choose from your hunters right you have a bloodline that you can choose and you get one free every round uh, or or so or something like that like you you pretty much can, can continue like you can go in die get another guy right for free don't ever just spend any money on any in-game currency or you can purchase shit, but um yeah i mean it, all they all, have they, all the free hunters are pretty bare bones they've actually, they've actually done remember. they've done a better job like really like some of the other ones like they don't get some of the little bit maybe i don't even say better perks like it's more about the loadouts like you don't really get like like your your free guy may come yeah, with that, like that's a, more what i meant yeah the loadout's gonna be subpar mm -hmm. it can still get any of the traits that you would want though. that's that's are that's the only problem that I would have with it. Yeah. Or like, do what? Uh, I'm saying, like, are they balanced at all? These traits that you get yeah. randomly, or like, yeah, I mean, you're, you're gonna have like, some. Could that... you load into a game with like a really shit trait, and like you get rocked by some guy who got like the god roll, pretty much? Um, like, is there I RNG mean, to it? There's an RNG to what traits you get, but like your traits aren't like these super crazy, overpowered, <sighs> ridiculous things. Like, um, I was playing with a guy that was level like 57. His character was like level 57, and I felt bad because the last game we played, hi. He ended up dying. Uh, it's pretty high. Like it, it's not, okay. it's not insanely high, but it, it's like high enough, enough right? to know. Like you, yeah. you're pretty uh, yeah. fair like, player now. He, he, he's got enough, like he's probably got, he's got at least all 12 perks. Cause you can have 12 total perks, I think, or 15 total perks on your character. Um, yeah. and so his guy's been, you know, been through. So like, and again, he could choose to go in with that guy or choose not to go in with that guy, but he chose to go in. And again, you're, you know, he got popped by a dude that had like two perks, you know, and, and his perks aren't like going to do anything kind of crazy. And the other cool thing is that like what you're seeing on screen now is you could actually get, get into an area where there may be a random perk just in one of these boxes that you can pledge yourself to. And then you get that perk. And then if you, 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 it's called, it's called uh, devoting yourself to a pact. So they have different packs that you can devote yourself to. And based on that pack, when you come back in the next time, like you can upgrade that pack again, if you survive and now it gets another different kind of perk that you can unlock. And certain perks you have to have the pack to get those perks on your character. It's it's a right. lot of like really cool build variety and and just it's a lot of fun. Like you know, I, again, I've not felt like there was a situation where I was like, oh, I'm getting fucked over because this person like in COD where they buy the these packs that have like the Uber guns and whatever else and and they're overpowered yeah. versus what I'm I'm playing. That was that was the only thing that I was worried about was like, uh, if if you're buying these characters, do they come with like pre designs like? And, and almost overpowered at least i uh, nope. i what's it called it's like passives and, and traits and and equipment and everything like that nope so nope. they are called legendary characters but it's just the skin um and yeah. you can okay you have to you so when you get into a or, or go to, to recruit right because you can have five total people on your squad or on your 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 bloodline or, or bounty hunters you can there's an option to 
to keep going. There's an option to uh, recruit your legendary character, but all that that does is just purchases the skin. So like you're you're just purchased like like it's 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 like another person in your recruitment, but it doesn't. Again, it's no there's no benefit other than it looks really fucking cool. Like okay. that's about right. It. Um, they've even they've even they got some pushback because some of the characters like the maps again are very like diverse weather fog uh you'll it'll be raining like you know half the match and all of a sudden it'll clear up and then it'll start raining again which causes you not to be able to hear but like they had like uh feedback and pushback because they were like hey one of these characters blends in really really well right and so they tweaked it they were like nope we're gonna tweak that we're not gonna have anything you know obviously there's certain you know there are certain skins like one i really like the dude's got like a huge black coat on or whatever else like that guy's gonna stand out you know because he's in a black coat um but you know ultimately again it's it's i don't know man it, it, it's a crytech is on a phenomenal game this is a sleeper game like i really recommend like if you do like like brs or you are looking for something kind of new the community is fucking great i've joined all the games i joined everybody was super nice um they were not toxic pieces of shit um you know it was really good like it was just really fun um it's good it's good it's good it's good to see that they've turned it around at least because i I remember it did not it did not release very well yeah i've tried to get into this one a few times i also bought it whenever it released and i've tried it probably about a couple times every year since i still have issues getting into it more so for the fact that i feel like i'm constantly getting rocked by players that have been committed to the game for so long so they have hunters that have weapons and stuff that are above what i have with like a single shot revolver and a uh a winchester and whatnot and they've got like the 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 belted guns and like the the more long range weaponry and this is a game where one shot headshot is a thing as well so technically every okay. gun can perform the exact same way that's their way of kind of balancing out the weaponry um yeah. but that's the only thing that prevents me is because the the entry for the game is a little bit high especially depending on how the lobby is with they, players do they, that have built do they, up characters do they have matchmaking skill based matchmaking yes, or is yeah they have they have an you get, you that's get. actually really good your your first couple matches um i will say the game kind of fucks you because like you're playing in your in your first couple of lobby matches and like we were i was just destroying white people and it wasn't bots like it was real people but it's just kind of like you could tell that it was just like hey we're gonna throw you in here with just like the 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 worst of the, the, worst. the dregs of the right? dregs right yeah. and <laughs> You know, if you're competent at all at either shooters or being stealthy or anything like that, like you can just, you know, I, 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 I mean, I demolished, like I came through and just like was wrecking people left and right. And then I got into my MMR matches and it was like, oh, like you did super well. Fuck here. You go. And I'm playing against people that are like level 109, like, like level 100 prestige nine times. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, and again, it's not because they have better guns or anything like that or, or what. It's just that they know the game. Like, they know, like, the trajectory. They, I mean, it's, you know, they know. Like, I hey, feel like saying that they don't have better guns is a little bit. Well, because it, it's the only thing that c- prevents them from having or, or, or changes them about having better guns is the fact that you can't purchase them out of the gate. But you still get, like, uh, like, I, I, like, your characters that are um, rolled, like your hunters they will have guns that are like fifth, you know, 15 levels above where you are that you can't get. And as long as you have that, like you can modify the ammo, uh, you can modify all of those things. As long as you have one of them in your inventory and you are, um, you know, there. So it, that, that's why I'm saying like, there, there are obviously better guns, but I, I've also done my homework there because I was like, is this pay, pay to win? Is this really like a game that you are at a disadvantage? And everything I have found was like, yo, like this, this game, like, it all comes like the, the guns have bullet t- bullet drop trajectory. Uh, you know, you have like different sites. You have to like, there are people that are like, Oh, the, the Winchester is the fucking better gun. And then other people are like, no, like I like the Ithaca or whatever else. And then there's other ones that are like, no, like I like this. Like, uh, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't, I don't feel like the gun variety is too, too crazy. Um, in this, that's just me. Yeah. I'll, I'll agree with the disagree with you on that one. Um, and I and it's definitely not paid one. I'm not trying to paint it in that light. I do think that it is definitely a new player disadvantage um, going into these messages based on loadouts. That's that's the only thing I'm saying. I've I've had trouble getting into it due to that factor and the fact that I didn't 
stick with it and every time i go in it does feel like i'm at a disadvantage weaponry I, wise so i feel i feel like i feel like it's almost like a case of uh for honor <clears throat> and when you guys started playing this i kind of brought that up as well as like for honor is really is really uh once you hit that skill cap or once you hit that skill based matchmaking system you go from being like oh i'm, I'm a beast of this game to like getting your your butthole wrecked in yeah, well, yeah. One, <laughs> one, one other thing bill i would say you might want to try if you do you go back to it is they also released a a solo mode that's called soul survivor and that is um a it's i don't want to call it a br but it's kind of like a br where you don't know everybody loads in with nothing you got to find you find your perch you find your guns you find you loot everything right and and you know uh it's, the object is to be the sole survivor and the cool thing is, is that it whatever you find there you can bring into your your hunt games like your your regular bounty hunt lobby games too so gotcha. um you know they, they've they've done a good job of really listening to their community there's a new map that's coming out um that we're supposed to be getting a new they're going to be doing a whole graphical overhaul i think they're going to go to unreal engine 5 um maybe i don't know or they're proprietary but they're doing some engine overhaul um with it um so i don't know hunt showdown man i i've I've enjoyed. I will say the one on the one knock against it. Their fucking DLC packs are expensive as shit. They're ten dollars, yeah. like for every single character. Some of them are fifteen bucks, and you're literally, like I said, you're paying for a skin. Like that's all you're paying wow. for. Um, so it's 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 a yeah. little it's a little hefty on that one. Um, but yeah. Um, well, cool. Well, that was uh, Hunt Showdown. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the patch notes. And if you want to join us live, we stream every single Thursday at ten thirty p.m. Eastern here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. Also, if you miss the show, you can always catch us at anchor.fm forward slash prepatch podcast or wherever you listen to your podcast. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs>